Hey everyone, this is Brett Napoli from WebsiteSchool.com and today's question is, what is the best way to build a website? So the first thing we're going to talk about is a couple of different ways that you can build a website. Every website is built using HTML, which is short for Hypertext Markup Language, which is essentially the language that your computer and web browsers read to show you your full website or what a website is supposed to look like. There's a lot of different ways of assembling that HTML code or assembling the code that creates a website. So we're going to talk about those today. The first one we'll talk about is through just traditional HTML code. You could write HTML in a notepad document. You could learn how to write that code from w3schools.com or from any other resource on the web that teaches and talks about HTML code. Another way that somebody could go about making a website is through the website wix.com, W-I-X.com. Now I personally don't recommend this for people that are trying to create a business online or people that are trying to create a website that can really gain traction with search engines, but it is a way to put up a website and it is a way to put up a website pretty much for free. So wix.com is kind of an easy website builder that kind of allows you to drag and drop, click on certain elements and allows for easy, simple changes that pretty much everybody can understand relatively quickly. Where, where I feel that Wix is not as efficient is it's not as scalable, it can't be used on a much larger website, the options are limited, and you're kind of constrained to what Wix will, what, what capabilities Wix will give to you. Whereas with a content management system like WordPress or, some, or another like Joomla or Drupal, you can kind of add on to that website, add on to that framework, and build something much more complex and much more in depth. As you can imagine, not every website is the same. Sometimes people build websites because they want to sell products or services. So if you're trying to build a website that sells products, you might want to use what's called shopping cart software, like OS Commerce, Magento, or Zencart. There are a lot of, there are a ton of, a ton, ton of shopping carts available on the web today, and there's even, and there's even company hosted shopping carts that you can use to save time and money. PayPal, for example, offers an option where you can create a storefront and have it hosted on the PayPal website or have it hosted on PayPal servers so you have no hosting costs, you don't necessarily need to buy a domain name and you can just redirect your customers to that site where they can process their payments, order their products and get the, and, and the transaction be completed somewhere other than your own website. What I think is probably the best way of creating websites is to use a content management system, more commonly referred to as a CMS. There's a lot of CMSs or content management systems available today, but let's talk about a couple of the most popular ones. Drupal, Joomla, and WordPress. Drupal and Joomla and Joomla are not content management systems that I'm too familiar with for a couple of reasons. I found WordPress, which is my personal favorite as a CMS. WordPress is a much easier to use, much easier to manage, and much more popular content management system than the others, and that's typically why I and that's typically one of a thousand reasons why I choose it over the others. Drupal and Joomla, though I do like their, their functionality and they're very, very scalable and very, very useful in a lot of applications, for the majority of clientele and the majority of people that want to build websites, I simply feel that WordPress is the best possible solution. It's, mod it's easy to learn, it's a lot easier to learn than some of the others, and it's much easier to man maintain and manage and find tips, tricks, and advice about versus some of the other ones where there's a little bit less users.